Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Uncut 2.0. We'll be continuing where we last left off as the Space Empire of Japan. Uh, and we will be continuing in various levels of degree. As I did notice, obviously last time some of you did as well, uh, that we had some issues with the settings. I've now fixed those. And so our research speed, telephone speed, service speed is all at the correct levels. This does, however, mean that we are pretty low on those RP generations. But we got a little bit of a head start. Okay, uh, but also before that, I also turned the asteroids off, so it's easy for you guys to see where things are, because I know that was a comment. Um, and yeah, um, nothing much else to, to go on about. Uh, we are continuing our colonization efforts. We do have uh, transmutation technology. Uh, we are going to look at probably designing a commercial ship. Um, because that would probably be a very good idea now at this point. So we're going to create a colony ship. Immediately. We're going to give it a prototyped engine. We'll give it a radioisotope engine. The new radioisotope engine. Uh, which is now in the game. We'll prototype that design. And then we'll add it to the vessel. Um, we're going to need to select a name obviously though. Because that is not a good name. Uh, Japan... And there we go. Let's go for let's go for Issei. That's a Japanese province. And then let's go for prototypes. And let's go for radio step generator. There we go. Uh, we can have like three, four of those. We're then going to go for uh, colonist transports. So. We don't, we don't need to research cryogenic transport exactly, but we can do this. The cost is pretty significant, though. Um, and then we'll add in fuel. Enough fuel for this. Uh, there we go. 33 billion kilometers. That's enough for me. I don't really want it to go more than, like, the solar system, but maybe a little bit more to, like, other systems, potentially. Go to shul base. Um, and is that all? It's pretty slow. Well, I don't think I can help that. I think we're going to go for this. And then... Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for this. And then we'll copy the design. And we'll call this the Issei F. Differentiate, of course, between uh, the colony ship and between the non-colony ship. And uh, something I need to also do is then change these two freighters. Freighters. Pick up. Okay, uh, and then we're going to rip out all of the cryogenic transport. I'm going to add in a cargo hold, standard cargo hold. Um, and that should work out pretty well for us. And freighters, pretty decent. Nothing too, too important. Um, I might add a few more engines in there. We'll, it'll be fine. We'll give conscription because we don't want to use up our crew. And yeah, let's go for a... We need to research that engine. So go over here, research prototype. And then we'll go over to here. And we'll need to research that engine as soon as possible. Uh, so we're going to reduce research lab on that for now. Uh, we'll cancel this project for now. And we will research the engine first. So that'll be done by end of year. All right, let's uh, continue on. Just let our fleet continue their surveying. Uh, the Abkuma finished their overhaul. They're going off to survey. They're coming back to overhaul. Um, Abkuma F0 3 is without fuel. We have fuel. Uh, 003, 003. you hmm okay that's a problem less than 30 percent should be used now because that's apparently an issue uh 30 percent 30 percent 30 percent 30 percent um what can i do then to sort you out not a lot i don't have a fuel tanker this is a problem um because I can't really sort your fuel situation out. 
So I'm going to have to... Uh, not SM. We're going to have to abandon ship. Uh, so, yeah. This was a mistake. Abandon ship. And we'll pick up the uh, survivors here. That's unfortunate we lost that vessel. Uh, I'm going to order the colony fleet to pick up the survivors. Rescue survivors, drop them off onto Earth, please. Uh, rescue survivors, unload survivors. Move last Earth, move to location. There we go. Pick up the increment. Cool. Well, they're dead now. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Maybe I should have sent the fleet before. It's okay. Everything's fine. The 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 Akuma never blew up. I'm not sure that that ever happened, man. Go surveying Saturn. Uh, did we finish that survey of Jupiter? Um. So Europa, Callisto. So Europa's got a lot of resources. I has a lot of resources. Jupiter does not, as far as I can tell, anyway. Um, okay, we'll have that done. Complete their overhaul. They've gone to survey. We're going to survey this. Uh, Inefficient on Ephesus Akumba. Yeah, the, they're kind of falling apart a little bit here, which is a bit of an issue. Um... Do they not have enough? Let me check. Right, scout. MSB, you're fine. You're fine. The normal... Yeah, they should have enough MSP to repair. Maybe I should have added more. Took a long time, man. Long, long time. Akumba F1. Yeah, that's not even enough. Fuel less than 50%. Fuel less than... Oh my god, I made it worse, didn't I? Oh god, that is a... <laughs> that is a misplay. Yep, let's not do that. Everyone refuel immediately. Refuel. Get back to Earth. Refuel as quickly as you can. That might be another Akumbi we just lose. Which would be unfortunate. Oh, our research labs are sorted now. Uh, get back on pressurized water reactor. I want at least improved before we think about anything else. Um, yeah, so fleet 2. So fleet 2, you're, I think you're just going to have to get deleted again. I'm just going to delete you. There we go. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Should be okay now. Okay. This is a problem. I'm going to use SM for these. Um, refuel. Just because it's it, it it was a mistake. And it was a dumb mistake. And I'm not going to have to deal with that bullshit. But, you know, the game's sorted pretty much at this point. And, like, yeah, it's not really a problem for us. Uh, okay, let me think. Shipyards, that's on the way, that's on the way. We did just finish up, so we can start retooling for the Issei class. We're going to retool for the colony ship initially. That will be done on December 9th of 2136, which will be good. Um, we're going to increase building on this shipyard to 5,000 tons. Our mining's going okay, we can even see the mining here. Uh, Mars is growing, and we do now have civilian ships. Um, we don't have any infrastructure to move over, unfortunately. Uh, but our industry is starting to improve, which is good to see. Um, yeah, we've got a pretty good governor as well, which is always very nice. Very, very nice to see. Alright, so if it's moving over. Orbital motions, moving things. Uh, oh, we got a mining colony on Mercury. Three CMCs. Wow, it's 30 auto mines. So each CMT is 10 auto mines. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a mining governor to that. That is 20% mining on that. And that is a lot of resources that we're going to be able to mine. Um, I'm going to use mass drivers. We're going to purchase minerals. And then we are going to uh, dump them over to Earth. 
So what I am going to do is I'll shave this off and I'm going to grab and build a mass driver on the earth. There we go. Continue incrementing along. And yeah, just a lot of waiting at the moment. Okay, did Saturn have anything by the way? Let's have a look at that. Europa, Callisto, Io. Uh, I mean, it's probably easier to look through here. Saturn was unsurveyed. We don't know. Titan has a potential, but nothing else. We need a Saurium giant, really. That's what we're looking for. What's the fuel range on these guys? Let me have a look on that. Fuel range. Um, 3.4 billion kilometers on the Akumba Fs. Yeah, we're going to need a better design than this. So we're going to design a new vessel. Uh, we're called Geological Survey Vessel. We are going to give it uh, a new engine. We'll go with very cheap engines. We'll go for 80% efficiency with a 20 HS envelope. So prototype that design. We're then going to go over here. We're going to hit uh, prototypes. We're going to go for engine. We're going to put two of these on. We're then going to put geological survey sensors, the normal ones, because we do have access to the normal ones now. We don't need to use conventional geological survey sensors. Um, we'll add two of those. We can't really afford to add two of those, but we nearly can, which is pretty nice, actually. Uh, we'll give 40 billion kilometers in range. We will then give engineering spaces. Um, I think it's 0.7%. And I'm going to give maintenance storage. We'll give a small maintenance bay. I give us plenty of MSP, plenty of deployment. We need to get deployment time up. 24. Um, we can reduce fuel somewhat to 30 billion kilometers. And then we just add the fuel back in. So we lose we lose some, some of that. But we do gain decent speed. Um, decent range. Survey speed's good. Uh, good efficiency. Uh, I'm going to select a new name for this, um, and we're actually going to give these guys proper designations. So we're going to go for Haruna, that's a good name. And then we'll go for assignments, we're going to go for Japanese, uh, Japanese names, what's the class design? Japanese ships, and then we're going to go for the uh, M uh, Empire of Space EJAS. The JSN. We'll do JSN, Japanese Space Navy. And we'll select random name from theme. And then we will research the class components for the engine. And I'm going to do the same thing I did over here. We're going to go for pound propulsion. We're going to research this. It'll take us quite a bit of time though. But we are training up our scientists, which is always nice to see. We're going to need to get some more labs. That's for damn sure. Because we're not really going to get anywhere if we don't. Uh, Akuma F, complete our overhaul. Yeah, those two are not very useful. Uh, so EJS, 1000. These are fine. These two, we're going to just have them stop surveying. Because they're kind of not really very useful. Well, we are now surveying uh, Saturn there. Uh, Abukumba F, are you kidding me? Okay, well, we'll just retire you. We'll stop using you. I get the memo. I was bit of bad. I should have given them more fuel. Well, I'm trying to... Uh, uh, oh, no, it's one of these fleets here. It's one of these. Yeah, there we go. Miscree fuel. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit annoying. Like, it's not... I don't really want to have to do that, but, you know, what can you do? Um, And it's a, you know, it's a game at the end of the day. Uh, we now have a mass driver here, which is good. We have these guys, which have resources, galaxite, all that good stuff. We're going to also purchase those minerals. Oh, that's a problem, actually. Our wealth is not... is bad. A year expenditure, 6,300. Installation construction is going up pretty massively there. Um, reduce this to 40%, and we're going to take a cut out, and we're going to do financial centers. That was an oversight. We're going to need to do financial centers here. So get those built up. Uh, mining wise, we're going to uh, Shimuzu. We're going to redo that. Uh, oh, yeah. That, that, no, we don't want to send them to Shim Shizumu resources. I love that they are now the estimated travel time, which is really, really nice to see. 
Okay, so if all's completed. Fix immediate repair. Uh, retooling for ESA complete. Research lab available. Add that. Uh, then we are going to uh, begin construction. Oh, we can only build the ESA. That's not great. We'll have to do the freighter then. We'll, we'll change it off to the freighter design. Uh, CMC, CMC. Do we have the mass driver yet? No, we don't have the mass driver yet. We'll get that shortly, hopefully. Uh, so hopefully one. They're both damaged. You both have bad MSP. Supply points less than refuel resupply. Overall. A long period of time right there. All right, we can start building two ESAs. On two. Uh, we also want to start doing some infrastructure at some point here, but we are just kind of building up, really. Now, there we go. Freighters are starting to move off and actually do stuff with Mars. They have enough population for a bit, but they do now. And that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm also going to start to assign some governors. So, or made assignment, assign governors. And there, or made assignment, assign governors. There we go. And they'll be moving stuff between, which is always lovely. Maintenance failures. Oh, God. What's happened? This has been a real lesson in you fuck around what you're going to get, you know. You're going to get screwed over. That's what. And yeah, I'm cheesing it a little bit, but I don't want to have to deal with this too much. We'll repair both of them. Abakumba, Abakumba. But yeah, th this is warning to know that you can, this can happen to you and you can get fucked. But the good news is we're now getting our civilian industry going, which is going to grow Mars pretty handily and uh, Mars is going to be very nice to grow. Um, we have our troops on the ground there, which is actually doing unrest reduction. So once it has 10 million population, we'll be okay. Uh, radio isotope generator looking good. We're going to get that on the way. And new shipping lines have been established. Fantastic. And we completed the research into that engine. We're then going to grab the next engine tech. 266. Uh, and we can start to design ourselves the new Haruna class. So, capacity we tool that we've done in 2038 March. Uh, two ESAs finished. We're going to build another two. Two. Um, that does give us shipping capability. Mars now has 1 million people on the surface, which is fantastic. Uh, the question, though, is we need to... We What we need to do is we need to get infrastructure. We'll use the mass driver capacity for that. Our wealth situation is not great because that's reducing our economic production modifier and there's not much I can do about that. What I can try and do is get a wealth creation guy on it. Yes, yeah, see, that's not even that good. We'll just keep the same guy we had, uh, Hideki Kiko. Uh, we are building financial centers to try and get our economy back on track, but it's, it's not going to be good. Uh, if we have a look at the wealth, it's slowly going, you know, up. We're slowly getting better change, but still, it's, it's not great. I uh, complete the overhaul. Yeah, we are slowly starting to reduce it, which is good news for us. And uh, now we're in February, we're in March. We retooled complete for the Haruna class. And we'll build two Harunas to explore the outer solar system. Uh, industry is going well. We'll have that mass driver done here soon. There we go, mass driver complete. I'm going to then construct 200 infrastructure, uh, 5%. Actually, 500 infrastructure, 5%. Get that on the way. Our economy is sawing itself out, it seems, which is good to see. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to actually set stuff correctly. So, mining, they've already got their stockpile pretty heavy. Let's move that all over to Earth, please. So, that should now be moving over to Earth. Give it a minute and then they should just start getting sucked out. Yeah, there we go. All coming in for mass drivers, which is obviously a big benefit. And we can actually see our mining income right there. That's how much we're mining. Pretty nice. Um, 
And then just keep going one day, surveying Uranus. Insufficient resource supplies. Oh, this is a liability and a hell of a half. Let's get these guys out of here. I'm not losing another ship. I'm not worrying about that anymore. Okay, Mars is actually getting a size, but pretty size of population because it's growing from just the civilian movement of people. Two more Issei's done. Let's order up another two. And then we'll stop with that for now. No, I don't want you doing anything. Uh, movement or something else. Over. Refuel from Earth and then just stay there. Good. Alright. Uh, wealth. How is wealth situation doing? Okay. Wealth is nearly recovered. That was... Yeah, I've made some really big blunders this game, which is uh, kind of annoying, to be honest. So, we've done. The uh, JSN, Nisuki, and Unyo have completed our first two proper survey vessels. We're going to detach both. And we're going to put them under survey command. And we're then going to order them to do surveying of the solar system. As it won't exceed it, we fuel, uh, fuel resupply. Then we fuel 50%. We fuel colony, the point exceeded, do that. There we go. And they should be on their way. They should do have a pretty easy job with it. Yeah, wow, they move so much faster. It's so good. Okay, two more Issei's done. That's more than enough for me. We're continuing our colonization. Let's have a look at some colo colonial targets. So, excluding asteroids. Um, Europa has uranium, a ton of uranium, has some corundium. Really is Comet. Io has a lot of other stuff. Venus has some stuff, but not too much. Mercury, from what I understood, had a lot of stuff on it, and that was, yeah, here. Um, do we want to move stuff to Mercury yet? No, I want to start mining the Corundium. So, we're going to focus on Europa. Getting some uh, some colonies on the Jovian system. Uh, complete the overhaul, complete the overhaul. Uh, that's good. Okay, does Uranus have our supply? So Uranus has 11 million tons of sodium, so we'll have to be using that for fuel. Uh, looks like Saturn was empty. And we're now exploring all those. We might also see Pluto. We're going at the asteroids as well. There we go. We are starting to deal with the wealth situation, which is always good. And that does mean that we are pretty much sorted on that front. Okay, we're going to grab the e we're going to detach all of them, we're going to put them into uh, Cargo Fleet 1. And uh, Logistics Command, or actually we'll, put them, we'll call them Cargo Fleet 2. And then we'll tell them to load up uh, infrastructure, they should be able to load 5 each, there's 6 of them, so they can remove 30 infrastructure at a time. So we will be unloading on Europa, we will be then refueling. And we will repeat this, um, we'll repeat this, what, five times? Yeah, five times. So we'll do a repeat of four. That'll take us a little less than a year, but that civilian should start to pick up that for us eventually as well. Yeah, there we go. They're starting to move people over now, and we, we're, we're good on that. Um, conversion. What are we converting that's a problem? Ah, we... Do have too many constructor factories, we can't convert things. Oh, that was an oversight. Okay, remove all that. Uh, infrastructure, let's give 15% to you. No, not automated mines. I do not want automated mines right now, that will kill our corundium. Uh, infrastructure, we're going to give 15% to you. We're then going to go over here, we're going to give research facilities, I'm going to give uh, some, we're going to give 25% of production capacity. Let's try 50% actually. Because that means we'll make one lab a year, which is kind of what I want to do. Uh, we're going to put 25% on construction factories. So 100 construction factories, 25%. Create. And then the rest um, is our maintenance capacity enough. Not completely. Uh, we're going to add 10 maintenance. I'm also going to look at building some military ships to start with. Um, but we'll need technology for that. Uh, pressurized war reactor will be done shortly, um, which is good to know. I'm going to also assign new to that. So any new labs can go into that. 
Uh, we're mining our uranium stockpile pretty hard, which is not too fantastic. But we are do now have that colony on Europa, um, which we'll be moving stuff around with. Shoes. Yeah, there we go. Colony ships coming in. We're getting the rest of the, of the planets geologically surveyed. So Mercury, obviously very important. But um, looking at the outer system, have they surveyed Neptune yet? Uh, where is Neptune? Neptune, are they just now serving Triton? Yeah, let them survey Neptune and then we'll have a better idea. Okay, Neptune has resources. Neptune. Neptune has sorium, so there's Uranus, but Uranus is our primary supply of sorium. Okay, that's important to, to know. More unloading of colonists. Mars now has plenty, so I'm going to turn stable off. Um, yep, turn that off. And that should then mean that they'll start shifting over where they send their stuff. Uh, yeah, they should start moving that over now to Europa, which is good to see. Okay, we're going to go for next will be nuclear thermal engine, which is the second tier of engines. Will that be done in 2145? Uh, okay, industrial. We'll have our next research lab done shortly. Cargo fleet's coming about. And yeah, so the goal is just building up, and then we're going to look at leaving the system mainly. Uh, okay, freighters. I mean, civilians are doing great. Infrastructure completed. Uh, let's get another 500. Now, they should start to build that colony up on their own now. Um, I'm going to put the rest into construction factories. Well, how much mines do we have? We're gonna, actually, let's build some more mines. We'll build 100 more mines, which we have the stockpile for. 15%. Get that on the way. But yeah, they should start to uh, just build that up on their own now for us, which is uh, not a problem at all. Just keep getting more labs. And we've pretty much surveyed the entire solar system at this point, except for a few different things. Um, a maintenance facility is completed, which should give us capacity. Uh, yes, that gives us plenty of capacity, which is fantastic news. And then I'm going to do with the rest of these... Um, so military academies might not be bad if we want to train people up. Uh, not a bad idea at all. Uh, economically, we're doing fine. Fighter factories, potentially. We have how many fighter factories? 42. Yeah, let's build eight more just to get a round number. We'll build eight more of those at uh, 10%. We'll down to the queue. Then we'll build another eight more fuel refineries at 10% as well. Uh, exactly what we need. Alright, let's do increments. And yeah, we have so many ships, they, they're having a hard time even moving around. And also, here's a, here's a fun fact. If you have a look at this, at their name, if they have C1 name, that means it's the first engine technology. Uh, C2, C3, C4 all just mean different versions. And then you have the next generation of engines, that's when they generally upgrade. Okay, that'll be done in the sort side. We're going to get the boat very small, which is uh, nice. Which means we can actually build some fighter carriers. Well, we can try anyway. Uh, we are stacking Jupiter right now with Europa. Uh, we want to get some mines moved over here, really. Uh, let's get a governor assigned. Uh, populate mining should be the secondary bonus. Yep, there we go. Um, let me go then to getting some mines moved over so cargo fleet we're going to move over how many can they support right now so they can support uh about, probably about 15 mines so we're going to move over mine unload on europa refuel from colony we'll repeat this uh we can move six mines at a time so we're going to repeat this once i think it's 82 days but we'll be able to move that over there we go research facility completed we're going to take the rest, then we're going to put that back into research facilities. We're going to do another two research facilities because we want to spend as much as possible. I want to at least double the research labs that we have so that we're quicker. Uh, okay, we're getting mines now over here, which is good. We're going to need a mass driver for that, though. So I'm going to shave off 5% uh, from you, and I'm going to give that to mass driver. There we go. 
We're continuing our expeditions to Jupiter, and that's obviously very good. We're getting more of our col more civilian mining ships, more civilians doing stuff that they need to do. So, um, what's next? Well, we'll have that boat bay done. Well, I want rail guns initially. Um, maybe fighters as our primary defensive tool, though we can obviously build larger ships. Um, we'll see. Just keep bringing over. Cargo fleet coming through. That's 12 mines now on Europa, which is fantastic news. Uh, we haven't got any automated mines yet. Uh, so that's they're now mining. We need to get stuff sorted over here. You can see the max costs, by the way. Um, so we can support 1.9 million people with 1,200 infrastructure. Uh, luckily, Europa is a pretty elliptical orbit, so it's not too much of a worry in terms of its changingness. Um, I also want to definitely get a colony on to Mercury. Now, how much infrastructure do we have? We have 202 infrastructure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load infrastructure here. I'm going to then unload that onto Mercury. So that should be on Hosekawa. Uh, so I'm just going to rename this to... Uh, rename pop to Mercury Mining Mercury. And uh, we're going to just refresh. There we go. We're going to uh, unload all installations on Mercury. Then we fuel. We're going to cycle those move orders. That should also jog some of these colony ships to do their job as we expand boat base small research finished which is fantastic news as we try and get these guys trained up there are arc modules here which are pretty fun that we could look at i definitely do want to look at those um normal boat bay boat bay small is done uh transmitting cargo shorts let's just get you researching something um but there we go we're now getting a proper like triangle economy here which is fantastic Okay, they moved over all of the infrastructure, which is good. And uh, Mercury's now getting visitors, so it's now getting colonization, which is what we want to see. We want to start putting mines on there as soon as we can. So we are obviously producing more mines. Um, we're coming out slowly. I want to get our build points up to like 10,000 before we start building construction factories for a minute. Uh, nuclear thermal engine will be done somewhat shortly. Um... But yeah, the freighters are doing a really good job here. And our racial wealth is increasing because of it. If you have a look at the racial wealth situation, uh, we're taxing on shipping trade goods, on colonists, on exports, all that good stuff. Mars right now, you can kind of see that they're requiring certain resources. They require a lot of infrastructure, which they are importing. Um, they're also producing their own infrastructure. Then Earth is producing a ton of stuff for that and exporting that infrastructure. Um to other planets, to other, other places, which is fantastic. So yeah, this is the very, you know, conventional start build-up, really. Uh, when you're on a low research speed, it gives you, obviously, some time to get things ready. Um, Mercury is getting absolutely built up right now, so that now has 1.61 million. Um, so we can have, uh, you know, 20... 30 mines we can move over so let's do that we're going to move those mines over to mercury and little installations we feel from colony uh we can move 18 24 30 so we'll just move five of those times and then uh over here that we when there's our mass driver complete i'm i'm going to also put in an order for a second mass driver for mercury there we go but Mercury should now start to be building things. There are those Pfizer factories now done, which is good. Uh, but yeah, Mercury should start to be mining, which is good because they need to be starting to mine uh, slowly but surely. Their governor should reflect that. Yeah, mining 20%. Uh, it looks like we've seen geosurveyed the entire system, which is fantastic. You guys have done your job excellently. We're going to hand you back to Earth now. And I'm going to turn off surveying for both of you. There we go. And then let's do one day increments. Here we go. But yeah, no, we've got a lot of uh, colonization happening over here. How much would we need to colonize Venus? Do we want to colonize Venus? Not really. I mean, there are resources there in high quantities, but nothing too amazing. We've also found no ruins, no art survey sites, really. Which is a bit unfortunate, if you ask me. Um, 
which again, two years we'll have that done, which will be good. Okay, and Cargo Fleet 2 is now done. Mercury now should have 30 mines on it, which is making use of the population. Um, yeah, making use of the population. So we now improve 2,500. We can kind of see uh, the resources that we're generating, uh, which is always nice. And do we get a mass driver complete? Got one mass driver complete, so I'm going to have the cargo fleet head over Earth, load up a mass driver, not load both of them, that would be a disaster. Uh, load one mass driver, please, maximum one. Unload that on to Mercury. Refuel from colony, there we go. Done. And now Mercury can fire the minerals off to Earth. Oh, they already have mass drivers, they should do, yeah. Mercury was the other as a mass driver, then we, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, pick up that mass driver, actually, then. Uh, because they, they, will ha they had one from the CMC, so that's not an issue for us. Uh, so we're going to move that over to Europa, actually. Uh, done. Okay, research labs coming online. Let's bring that back up to 40%, so we get one a year. Uh, 45%. 45%. The rest can go into mine production because we're going to need more mines. Uh, but we can start shipping those resources from Europa now to, um, to Earth. Which that takes 10.6 days. That takes 28 hours to move over. Um, do we have a mass driver here? Yeah, we do have a mass driver. So fine. Okay, bringing those resources in. By mining. Europa, Mercury. You're going to Earth. You're going to Earth. You're purchased. You're purchased. Yeah, everything looks fine here for us, really. Um, okay, that'll be done shortly. Now we can put our efforts to something else. A production of fuel refinery completed. Let's get a military academy on the way, I think. The more military academies, the better for us. As we can just get our construction rate up. Um, and keep incrementing along. There we go. We are getting a lot of stuff moved around. It's the infrastructure that's the issue. Uh, Mercury can support a lot now, though. Our civilians having a bit of an issue handling the infrastructure movement of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think that's why I'll leave the episode off. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, whatever to help me out. And uh, I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Uncut 2.0. Special thanks to my members and thank you for the support. I'll see you guys next time.